Red lights on cameras. <laughs> oh man, this is bad. There's not that much difference between shooting high speed digital camera, you know, and shooting a RED or shooting a Panasonic or shooting a Sony. People think that it's really different, and it is different. At the end of the day, it's still, you know, cinematography, light, and finding the right athletes that are gonna throw down for you. We're gonna make sure all this stuff still goes together and turns on. Bringing out the, uh, the Phantom camera. We're gonna get some really sick slow-mo of Bobby going off of all the jumps. One of the best park riders in the world. Dollar bill, it's the best way to check focus. Everyone knows what it looks like. Lots of little intricate lines. You can use the one on the bottom if you wanna be fancy, but you're only impressing yourself. So the camera, you essentially shoot backwards of how you shoot a normal camera. So you'd be shooting the camera, shooting the camera, and let's say this is a triple cork that happened right there. When you tell the camera is to stop recording, and that means that that shot already exists in the RAM of the camera. So then you would go back through your clip, find out where that moment happened, and then you essentially would save that part of the shot from the RAM of the camera into the mag of the camera. And once it's in the mag of the camera, you've gotta be bringing it back down to base if you're gonna be saving it. Because once it's in there, it's in there until you connect it to a computer. Changing your resolution is as simple as dialing a button, but you can see at the bottom how it changes, how long you get to shoot to your buffer, and how many frames that you can get. Phantom loves its cable. You don't want to forget one of these because you can't just buy them at Radio Shack. You have the nicest camera in the world, but if there's dirt on the lens, ain't gonna be a good shot. One of the best shooters in the industry used to talk to me about the high-speed cameras. And he would always say, it's just like a cameraman's crack. You want to shoot it all the time, you can never get enough of it. And even when you're shooting it, you just want to keep shooting and shooting more. And the next time we see this camera out of the package, hopefully it'll be on the slopes. Some rad shots. Going. So right after X Games, Johnny D called me up and was like, yo, we got the Phantom, we're coming to Breckenridge and shooting the last jump and you know, instantly I was so pumped because Breckenridge is my home resort and obviously has the best jumps in the world. So it's pretty cool bringing the Phantom out and you know, shooting on that last jump, the jump that I hit every single day of the year. Nick Shrunk is the Phantom shooter for Red Bull. He's just a really cool guy that it was awesome having him there so there's not some stress case just freaking out about everything and you know changing the whole mood of everything. So Nick's super laid back, just you know down to have a good time and his shots just turned out absolutely amazing. So uh, it was super fun. We had Dane Tudor, Colby Ward, Will Berman, Banks Gilberti, and Grant Savage. All of my really good friends come out and come hit this jump at Breckenridge. Phantom's been 
been sick. Lots of slow mo shots for everybody. Check it out. See what's really going down. All right, we got Dan Tudor dropping in. The fall up. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Coming in switch. Six, switch, double, turn. It's definitely one of my favorite sessions of the year just because who you're sessioning with totally sets the vibe for the whole entire shoot and you know determines whether it's going to be really fun or not so it was obviously an awesome crew and awesome times out there that was sick yeah so we had the sleds out that morning which you know you can turn two hours into like six hours if you were lapping the chair so it was pretty fun just cruising and cruising it probably got like 20 25 laps in the morning and i was just beat you know I had a long week at x games and you know, come out here to Breckenridge, but I couldn't say no just because it's Bluebeard Skies and a perfect jump with Breckenridge, so. Oh! oh! <laughs> I remember my first time filming. <laughs> you know, Banks is just absolutely killing it. Once the cameras came out, he just turned it on and was doing switch double cork 10s, double cork 12s. Banks is getting super well. It was just awesome to see him out there, you know, slaying so hard because I feel like he goes, under the radar a lot with the tricks and the style that he's got and it was just cool to, to see him really charge and have an opportunity to get his stuff out there on a super nice camera with an awesome crew. Yeah, Dan was riding super well, you know, always just smooth and styly like he is and was doing some sick right side double cork 12 tails, which are definitely one of my favorite tricks to watch him do and keeping it nice and styly and smooth. So it was awesome, you know, riding with Dan and seeing him use that flowy backcountry kind of style and putting it into the park. So the trick to the Phantom camera is getting it to turn on in a place in the middle of nowhere. When you're shooting the camera, you really have to know what your shot is and you have to make that decision right then and there if you're going to stop recording and if that's going to be your shot. cool about the Phantom is that, you know, it doesn't have to be something huge for it to look so amazing just because the quality and the slow motion are just so insane and, you know, mind-blowing that you can turn something so small and, you know, kind of lame if you were to see it in fast motion and really make it something really awesome and interesting with the Phantom. Got him. So the Phantom's like... You have a super hot girlfriend. All your buddies love it. They're like, man, they're so jealous. And really all she does is bitch and moan and there's always a problem and she's super expensive and never happy. And yeah, it's pretty much the Phantom camera. Check out next episode of Bobby's Life, where I'll be competing at the Dude Tour. Whoa!